Praise. He's the great I am. He is the Lion of Judah. Amen. The, you know, I was, I'm just, I just, uh, I don't even know where to start, y'all. You know, have you ever, last week was just so, mm, I accidentally, I had to come up here for something Tuesday. I don't even know what it was, but I had to come up here for something because Mondays and Tuesdays are my day off, okay? And so I um, came up here, and then Bishop brought in the, <laughs> he brought in the mail. And then we had two letters from the IRS. Now, when you get, ugh, well, you know, normally I get a letter saying that they owe us because we all, always overpay our our 941 taxes, which is good. So I always get a letter saying that, you know, we will be putting your check in the mail. But then one of them kind of letters. So one letter I opened, and it says, you owe us 15000 and something dollars. And I say, what? No, you owe us some money. I don't owe, we don't owe you nothing. And they put that letter in there without an explanation. So I, uh, it was a rough day. So called, one lady just didn't, she didn't know what she was talking about. So the next day I spent, and I kid you not, six hours on the phone. Okay four of those hours only to get hung up on twice. Hey, had, had that ever happened to y'all? <laughs> okay. Oh, but then, so, I mean, I, I almost gave up. So Holy Spirit said, try one more time. So I tried and I'm, I'm on the phone, hanging on for another, another hour. So finally this man comes to the phone and I say, please don't hang up on me, sir. Please don't hang up on me. And when you all singing, I don't mind waiting. Sometimes we gotta wait on God. We gotta wait on God. And I know sometimes we go through stuff and we go through stuff, we go through stuff that's inconvenient, we go through stuff that we don't like, we go through stuff that we don't wanna go through. And so I'm, I'm, I'm begging him, I say, please don't hang up on me. And if I tell you this was the nicest man, let me tell you, God, when you wait on God, he got that special person that's going to help you. He's going to help you. See, because I say, if, if we owe you $15,000, that means that our payroll was double what it was. And that's, that's impossible. And so he said, okay, hold on. Don't hang up. Oh, say, I said, I said, I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> so he came back to the phone. So he said, do you have your 941 in front of you? I said, yes, I do. And he said, look on line nine. He said, that's where the mistake is. You should have put line nine on line 10. <laughs> he said, just fill out a 941X and it's gonna all be gone away. <laughs> oh, if we just learn to wait on God. He will send the right person your way. Sisters, we get in trouble when we marry the first joker that asks us to marry him. Brothers, we get in trouble when the first fine thing come along that ever looked at you that fine and cute. We get in trouble. But when we wait on God, 
when you take that job for that money and God told you don't take that job and it makes your life miserable we just gotta wait on God amen he got the right person and that man was so nice see because I called Tuesday and the first lady I called she didn't know what she was talking about she didn't know what she was doing Brothers and sisters, when God has entrusted you with a job, you should be able to know how to do your job. Amen. Now, normally, normally, if I make a mistake on my 941, they, they normally corrected it. But since the mistake was in their favor, <laughs> a $15,000 favor, you could... I mean, you could tell it was the same amount. That was the total total uh, taxes that we had had paid, and you're gonna double our taxes. But God, He's faithful. He's faithful. Whew. And we just gotta wait on Him. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. Thank you, God. That when we wait on you, we don't mind waiting. Because we know that you're going to come after a while. I know that Bishop is teaching on the blessings of Abraham. But right now, the world is in turmoil in the Middle East because they didn't wait. We see how waiting can affect generations and generations and centuries and centuries and centuries and millennials and millennials and millennials because we get impatient but father help us to wait you help us to seek your face as David says your face will I seek when you tell us to seek you seek you for everything dear God God, we thank you. Father, we thank you for bringing Keisha back to us today, God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I know she's been wanting to come back to church, and her eye has been giving her trouble with that infection. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that she will have a full recovery, dear God. No surgery. Just a full recovery, a full healing, because you are that kind of God. You care about us. You love us. We're not something that you made and you just threw away. You are involved in every aspect of our lives and we thank you for it, dear God. We love you and we bless you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Give Bishop a hand, clap his hand. Amen. Thank you, sir. And we give God a hand clap of praise today, y'all. I don't know about you, but I feel his presence in this place on today. Our young people are excused to go to children.